Hi, Yolanda. How you doing? So I want to talk about your um, your magazine work and 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 great job getting everything in. You got all, um, your article. You got all your type in, and that's great. So everything is in place, so to speak. So now all we have to do is kind of design. Um, I've got a couple of comments and questions. Um, I'm not real sure about the format of this magazine. I, I would and please go eight by ten or even eight and a half by eleven, but don't do this square format. It's going to be too difficult to work with. So try to keep it conventional there. I also suggest not using this white frame around your magazine cover. Um, I think that, like I said, that, that it's good that you got your your type of place. Okay, you got your masthead now. You've got your subheads and your your hair main groom edition. Your 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 your. Uh, headline then you have this guy here that's kind of staring off into space and then you have this blue background that's missing part of his ear and then it's also in his shirt so i just I, i'm a little lost i'm not real sure exactly what's going on here um that's not a good image to use for the cover i think it part not part of this is not only gathering the text and and, and such for your your magazine but also doing some visual research to see how magazine covers are actually constructed. Most magazine covers, if not all, have this area right here called a masthead. And then, you know, the masthead, you'll, you'll want to take a look and do some research. Just uh, Google masthead and see how it's handled. It's typically a word or a name for a magazine. And then there's a volume number and um, issue number and things like that. And then um, typically you have this at, at, at the masthead area that would take like this area here. And then you would have an image in the center. And then you would have your, your type around each side of the image. Okay, so think about that. I guess what I'm saying is, is, is take a look around. Instead of just putting a magazine, instead of just putting an image on a cover and saying, okay, here's my name of my thing, and then here's this. I'll put it over here, and then I'll put this over here. You guys got to take a look at magazine covers and build this based on visual research, okay? Now, your contents page is the same. Um, uh, you've got your articles. That's great. That's that's awesome. Um I just want to point one thing out too. Okay, and then you have your feature article. You have your 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 type in place. That's great. So I, I'm not really going to talk about much other than you you got each one of these. Look at this guy. Like here, he's kind of long and skinny. Here, he's really long and skinny. Here, he's back to normal. Here, he's like really short and fat. And the same thing over here. So I I mean, you can't just stretch images. You know, at will. You have to constrain the proportions, and typically, what you do, like you would never take an image and just stretch it to fit in a in an area, because this guy's going to be really PO'd because he's all distorted. Um, so typically, when you resize an image, just you know, hold the shift key down while you're re resizing it, and that will constrain the proportions. So other than that, just really start doing some research. To pick a magazine you want to model yours up from. Okay, so that we can get this layout idea out of the way so we can concentrate on typography. Okay, so right now I'm thinking you're doing great. You've got all your, your, your ducks in a row and we're ready to go. Okay, so great job. Thanks, Yolanda.